This is the fourth time that I've had to record the audio for this review. <laughs> Just because after I finally got it right, and then for some reason Audacity took a shit and decided, you know what, I'm gonna make it to where the audio keeps cutting and sounds like shit. Anyway. My excitement for reading Fable Blood of Heroes goes far beyond just reading a fantasy book. It has a lot to do with the Fable trilogy as a whole. The original Fable game was released in 2006 to critical acclaim. However, there's this guy named Peter Molyneux, all right? And he kind of overhyped the game, so it pissed off a lot of people that got to play it. And sadly, the trilogy, despite being really good, has always had kind of a little bit of a black mark on it because of the overhype. Regardless, growing up, you know, being raised by a single mother with four kids, well, her four kids, not mine. I don't have kids, thank God. Uh, uh, but being raised by a single mother who had four kids, video games weren't in the budget, all right? If we had to decide between eating for the day or buying a video game, obviously, you know, I don't want my siblings to starve. So, Fable was given to me by my uncle, along with his Xbox, and I had a shit ton of fun playing the first Fable game. It, it holds a very special place in my heart. As for Fable Blood of Heroes, this is probably uh, one of the most amazing books I have read this year. And not even because it's this deep introspection into, you know, human existence or anything like that. It's actually just a very fun fantasy romp that mimics the same kind of humor that you would expect from a Fable game. Fable's humor is very Monty Python, and I think one of the funniest moments in the entire Fable trilogy is the beginning of Fable 2. There's this beautiful cutscene, and you're watching this little sparrow, and it takes a massive shit, and that shit falls, and they make it a point to like zoom in on the shit and revolve around it, like, look at this beautiful bird shit, and then it splats on your character's head, and that's how the game starts. It's a series that has serious moments, but it doesn't take itself too seriously. So, and the same goes for Fable Blood of Heroes. There are eight different characters you have to follow in this book, and they're all fun. If I had any complaint, it's that they're not very well fleshed out, they're very much a quirk, like, you have the warrior drunk, and then you have, like, you know, the, the one girl that's just like, well, my grandma always said. <laughs> She's always, like, going back to what her grandma taught her. And then you have, like, this stealthy assassin who has, like, ulterior motives. There's only one character in the entire book that gets kind of a backstory, aside from the my grandma always said person. It's this girl who uh, was destined to be a hero. But her father was enraged that she was destined for good things, because I guess he wasn't. Like, I don't know, his own inadequacies, I guess. And he tried to, like, stomp her down and, no, you can't be a hero, and just ruin her. But she was like, you know what, fuck you, dad, and she went off to do it anyway. She's the only character that has any development. But really, that's the only complaint I have about this book. It's a genuinely great book, very well written. Uh, the author, Jim C. Hines, clearly either played the games, helped create the games, or just has extensive knowledge of the lore and the comedy surrounding the games, and was able to create a funny story that, honestly, even if you've never played any of the trilogy, you can still enjoy the book for what it is, because it's not just locked directly into the lore. But if you have played the games, it just makes the book that much more enjoyable. I'm not going to go too far into detail otherwise, because honestly, this is one of those books that I really want you guys to read, and I don't want to give away too much. If you want a book that's funny, with characters that are a little one-note but still enjoyable, then I highly recommend Fable Blood of Heroes. I'm going to give it an A.